give us a lot of support that give us the initial money to turn our products from idea to prototype and also let us launch our products to the market. I'm very grateful for Cyberport for having us here and helping us bring this experience to you guys. This is the first community cloud in Hong Kong. Congratulations to Cyberport. Cyberport has contributed great efforts to this ICT mega event. It's a great video that gives you an idea of some of the things that are going on and have been going on here at Cyberport. Uh, amazing capabilities. I've been coming here for Delft now for nine years, and so it's really exciting to see so much change happening and again to see another Delft audience. So good morning and welcome. Delft, as uh, you may know or may not know, is one of 38 events that is taking place uh, over this last 11, 12 days during the International IT Festival here in Hong Kong. And so we're at the tail end of that festival, which ends uh, on the 20th this weekend. So I hope you'll come to some of the other events that are still scheduled, and perhaps you've been to some of the ones that have already happened. Before we start, let me just announce that uh, if you want to tweet, there is a Twitter account, and it should uh, come up again. And so today's guest speakers and panelists have a lot of experience in the digital entertainment industry, and we want to encourage you to interact with them. So please do tweet questions so that we can use those questions as the basis for some of the dialogue that will happen later during the panels. Please, as I said before, turn off your cell phones and let's begin. So it's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Susie Ho, JP Permanent Secretary for Commerce and Economic Development, Communications and Technology, the HKSAR government to say a few welcoming words. Ms. Ho, please. Uh, Elfie, Stephanie, Bart, Paul, Herman, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It gives me great pleasure to join you all today at DELF 2014. I would like to express my warmest welcome to you all, especially to our illustrious guests from afar. The theme of today's forum, Pioneering Technology Changes in Digital Entertainment, is most timely. Technology creates value, and creative application of technologies has opened up new horizons in digital entertainment industry. ICT technologies have allowed the contents of digital entertainment to advance in a leapfrog manner. It has also made revolutionary changes to the mode of delivering the products. In my younger days, which is not very long ago, one would not have imagined the quality of audio and visual display, the variety of contents and the interactive capabilities of films, animations, and digital games that are available today. The many forms of portable devices, big and small, means that one can access all forms of digital entertainment anytime, anywhere. The business opportunities are abound. The only limit, probably, is our capacity, in terms of time, to enjoy the products available in the market. Hong Kong has, in our very small ways, witnessed how the utilization of digital technology has added value and enriched the fabric of our film, music, games, and interactive media industries. To start with, we are fortunate to have a free cultural environment that gives full latitude for our creative talents to flex the mus muscles, artistic muscles. There is no shortage of supply of new talents into the market. Every year, we have over 1,200 first degree, sub degree, and high diploma graduates from the creative and digital media programs alone, not to mention the graduates from other spheres of studies joining the computer animation, entertainment software, games, and interactive media industries. The supply of talents is but one component in the formula. Free competition in our telecommunications market has, over the years, helped build up a robust telecommunications infrastructure with the capacity to support the advancement of digital entertainment industry. Hong Kong's mobile and broadband penetration rates of 238% and 
are among the highest in the world. Our average peak internet connection speed of 65.4 megabits per second is the fastest worldwide. With 10,000 Wi-Fi hotspots offered by government and the commercial sector, Hong Kong has one of the highest concentrations of hotspots in the world, and we are working to increase that number to 20,000 by the end of this year. Such infrastructure, together with a tech-savvy population, ensure that consumers can easily access the new digital entertainment products developed by our talents. There are also other forms of more specific purpose-built technological infrastructure that facilitate the development of digital entertainment. The, for example, the CyberPod Technology Center offers a comprehensive suite of world-class hardware, software, and services to facilitate the creation and distribution of digital content. Our state-of-the-art digital cinema exchange platform provides facilities for digital content transfer, production studios, professional digital sound production, as well as cloud-based animation rendering. With the latest technology at enhancement, the center has been spearheading the adoption of 4K standard in digital entertainment and solving key challenges in 4K content production to support the industry to capture international market opportunities. In 2011, the value added of digital entertainment sector amounts to over 8.1 billion Hong Kong dollars. Admittedly, our local market is relatively small. As, but however, as in all other industries, we invariably look beyond our boundaries. The potential of the mainland and Asian markets is enormous. While pioneering technology changes, I would also encourage all of you to pioneer in accessing new markets. Competition may be intense, but I believe that it is the Hong Kong spirit that we keep on pioneering and stay ahead of the curve. The Hong Kong government, in our modest way, continues to provide a, a facilitating role. Apart from the policies and men, uh, that I've mentioned above, to quote a few examples, we have set aside 300 million for the new Create Smart initiative to support the development of creative sectors. In recognition of our outstanding creative talents in the field, we, are, we have also established the Best Digital Entertainment Award under the annual Hong Kong ICT Awards. We also provide funding to industry, for the industry to organize events such as the Asian Smartphone Apps Contest Summit. Today's Delph is one of the signature events of our International IT Fest 2014, providing a valuable platform for participants to exchange and share insights on how cutting edge technology shapes the landscape of digital entertainment. I congratulate Cyberport for organizing such a meaningful event. I wish all participants a very memorable experience. And last but not least, from, to our visitors from afar, a very warm welcome and also a most enjoyable stay in Hong Kong. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ho. It's now my pleasure to welcome Mr. Herman Lam, who is the CEO of Hong Kong Cyberport Management Company Limited to the stage to give you his opening remarks. Herman, please. Thank you, Hal. Um, uh, Susie, Paul, LV, Bart, all the distinguished speakers, good morning. A very warm welcome to all of you joining us here again at the uh, Digital Entertainment Leadership Forum 2014 Delft at Cyberport. As, as Hal just mentioned, we actually have been doing the Delft since 2004, and uh, it is now actually becoming one of the biggest digital entertainment um, events in town. And it's a great event that will help us to link the local talent to a pool of uh, glo global experts and a great opportunity for, for us to learn from each other and also have the opportunity to exchange ideas. So it's been well received by the local community. In the past delves, we have uh, leveraged the uh, international connections that we have to invite prominent world-class speakers uh, to speak to us in uh, many different areas, including uh, special effects, 3D technology, music, digital cinema, games, computer animation industry, uh, for them to share the insight with us and also have a great opportunity to, to collaborate. In this year's uh, Delft 2014, uh, again, we are ready to uh, be inspired again by a cast of experts and visionaries to talk about pioneering technology changes in the digital entertainment era. Um, every now and then, I think this sort of uh, disrupt technology 
uh, such as uh, mobile devices, uh, social media, or uh, cloud computing, has brought new, new lives uh, to our industry, has been able to allow us to uh, do many things in a very different way, uh, change the way we work, we live, and how we be entertained. And it's also because of these new technologies that uh, I think content creators or content delivery channels has been uh, greatly impacted uh, with the new capability that this technology has brought to us and also uh, the way now that we can engage with the mass in a very different way and in a very different fashion. And I think it's because of that we're seeing a lot more, as Susie mentioned, young minds and the professionals is joining this industry. Uh, we're seeing a lot more talents is joining the industry in terms of content creation. It's also in terms of uh, content delivery. So uh, that's all very encouraging. And, uh, and I think today we have a great opportunity, again, to learn from all these experts that we have invited to uh, this event to, uh, to, together to look at what, uh, what might be the next big thing that will help shape the industry. With all this great minds, great energy, I think Hong Kong is a great place for all these content creators, content delivers to get together and create the next big thing. As Susie mentioned, many of the advantages of Hong Kong uh, are very, very, very obvious. And I think I want to also you know, add to that is I think geographically, technically, and also culturally, Hong Kong is actually in the best position to be the platform for, for all these young, young minds to flourish. Uh, geographically, Hong Kong is actually part of, main, uh, part of China and it's just next to mainland China. Uh, in terms of technology, I think Hong Kong is one of the fastest uh, internet connections. And in terms of culture, uh, culturally, I think Hong Kong has been known as one of, uh, as been the uh, Hollywood of the East for the longest time. And uh, we have a, a, a significant amount of talent in, in the entertainment industry. So I think Therefore, I think Hong Kong is actually a very good place for, for us to really dive deep into what technology, digital entertainment can come together and create a, an exciting future. It's inside Hong Kong, of course, Cyberport is also a very, very exciting place for, for those of you who are want to engage in this area. Uh, Cyberport is very passionate about digital entertainment. We are very passionate about startups. Um, our goal is to provide a one-stop platform, as the video already suggests, uh, to, to help you know, the digital entertainment industry, the IT industry to flourish and to uh, create uh, or, or establish many new uh, tech companies, tech startups. Uh, we have pledged to invest another $200 million Hong Kong in the next three years. Uh, hopefully, this uh, investment will be able to even enhance the platform uh, for this great talents to uh, do what they need to do. Finally, I want to uh, once again, on behalf of Cyberport, thank all the distinguished speakers that we have invited today. I really, uh, I'm really excited to, uh, to wait to learn from them. Before the thing, I just received this name card from uh, our keynote speaker, LV. I hope he will tell me how to read this name card. Otherwise, I'll be spending the next few hours Googling how, how can I read this. So please help me to do that. With that, thank you very much. Thank you, Herman.